Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install your material and your end mill using this Kurt Vice and this A Trump milling machine. When it comes to installing your material in the Kurt Vice, you just set it in the vise. If your material is lower than the, the top of your vise jaws, you should always use what they call parallels. And it's basically you pick whichever size, lengthwise, parallel. They're written right here on the side. This one's an inch and an eighth in, in height. You set them up against the, the Kurt Vice jaws. And you put your material on top, and you tighten up the Kurt Vice handle. Okay. Now, more than likely, your parallels will be loose. So you take your dead blow hammer, you hit the top of your material. That actually sets your material on top of the parallels and pushes your parallels down to set accurately on top of the bottom of your vise. To install your end mill, you use an R8 collet. It has a keyway in it. In this spindle, there is a key for this keyway. And this is a 5 8 shank end mill. This is a 5 8 R8 collet. You don't want to use a 3 8 shank end mill and put in a 5 8 collet because it won't work. So you always pick light collets to light shanks of the end mill. So you reach up inside your spindle, make sure it's clean, make sure your uh, keyway on your all right, collet's clean. You set it up in there, push up a little bit, and pretty much this is plain and simple. End means end, so you hold it for three seconds, and it installs your collet. You always want to make sure your, your collet grabs a hold of your shank of your end mill, not where your cutter is. To take out your collet, you just say out, and it comes out. To take out your material, you just loosen up your vise, you take the material out, you take your parallels, you always put them back in the case, close up your case, and that's basically how you install an end mill and install your material using this vise and use this A-Trump milling machine.